Most people in life would like to have power in their life, but sometimes the way that they think they're going to get power in a situation is not even remotely close to what is socially appropriate or constructionally appropriate today. Constructionally appropriate means what is the construct of your relationship with that individual. Are you a total stranger to that person? And if you are, then you have no rights at all. If you're an acquaintance of an individual, you might have a little bit of rights. But it's all based on the social construct in which you met that person. If you met that person on behalf of a corporation or a company or a local distributorship, then you are fully liable as a corporate person to the things you might be doing, both on the job and off the job both during the time you're receiving a paycheck from that company or corporation, but also for the fact that you didn't have a chance to meet that individual unless you were in that company. The truth is today we must understand where our rights begin and end, because our rights only begin with us and end with us. If we are a mature person and have children who are of the age of maturity, we still do not have the same rights to them. It means you cannot involve them in legal documents when they didn't have the right to say no to being put on them and they are of the age of legal majority and they have the right to say no to that. At the same time, we must take the construct of how well do these people who claim they're related by bloodline actually know the individual that they're attacking in their own mind. You see, many people will cause an attack on someone who would stand up for righteousness who would stand up for justice, who would stand up for honesty, and who would stop a theft. They will do that because they don't want to be caught and they don't want to be misunderstood, but they also don't want help from the hood. Now when I make these rhymes, maybe it's stupid in time, but what I can tell you is that the people who have been attacking my life have come from a lot of different walks of life, a lot of different demographics. But as a marketer, as a reporter, as a trained journalist, from a major university that, sure, anybody can look up on any social media, you can very rarely play me. You see, my experience in life is not your experience in life, and I know so many people in life that my networks generally have the people that I've met on them. So when you try to pretend to be me on my networks, people are looking at you going, what the fuck are you doing? When you try to be me in a community that has already met me, they're looking at you going, go on, keep trying that, but we're going to send the police at you today. And when we do that, they lie, steal, and cheat people out of lives. But let me ask you the question that's really important here. Who is next? Who is next who's going to be abused and physically assaulted or sexually demoralized? Who's next who's going to be dehumanized by your fucking community because you thought you could teach a man a marvelous lesson for having landed somewhere close to your business? You failed your own fucking business. Because if you think your business owns rights to a property across the street that is empty, you're out of your mind. If you think that your company management of a property that belongs to a university gives you rights to steal physical property and vendored items from someone who's storing them there, you're out of your mind. If you think that an American citizen is going to tolerate one fucking foreign citizen harming an American citizen, you're out of your mind. If you think that an honest person is going to tolerate you infiltrating their family and ruining all the relationships there, you're out of your mind. You see, people of God know what is right. Liars of Satan do what is wrong. And the only difference between you and me at this moment of time is you're not the person they've claimed as who's next.